Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at your home. So this is your English video of standard 2 for day 3 and today we are going to do the rest of the exercises of chapter of the poem that is the sun. Okay, and the poet of the poem is Garrett Langster. Okay, so we are going to deal with all the questions that is in, in the exercises or you can say the question answer first. After that, we will continue with all the exercises. So, first of all, I'll read the poem once again for all of you. Don't you think the sun is bright? I wonder where it goes at night. Does it sleep or does it hide? Or is the moon its other side? So here the poet is are saying that don't you think the sun is very bright? I wonder. The poet wonders where it goes at night because at night sun is not visible. Does it sleep or does it hide? So the poet is thinking does this sun sleep or it hide somewhere? Or is the moon its other side? Or other side the moon is there. That is the reason when it turns, moon is there and sun is not visible. And when moon is visible, sun will be not visible. Okay, so like this. Does it hide behind the hills late at night as outside chills? So when it becomes very cold outside, does it hide um, itself behind the hills? So the poet is thinking that thing. Do you think it needs to rest? Yes, definitely. Why? Why poet is thinking that it's need uh, it need time to rest to take rest from all that warming? It does best because of uh, the sun. Warmth is there on earth, and we are able to feel the warmth. Okay, so from all that warming, it does best. Could it even have a home? Maybe in London or even in Rome. So the speaker is thinking maybe the sun is having uh, its home in London or in Rome. So or does it just float around moving slowly from town to town or the sun is floating all over the town around the town from one town to the other town. Yes, I think it must do that. Yes, at last the po the speaker was thinking the sun is floating. After all, the earth's not flat. Yes, one more thing, earth is not flat. It's like a round ball. So the sun goes round and round, spreading sunshine on the ground. And the sun is spreading sunshine. It's light. It's rays on the ground. Okay, so this was the uh, poem all about the sun by Gareth Langster. So here we are going to do understanding the text, understanding the poem. In understanding the poem, we are going to do answer this question, question number one. This question you have to do in your book. Okay. Take the correct sentence. The speaker thinks that the sun sleeps at night. Yes, he was thinking that the sun sleeps at night because at night sun is not visible. So you will tick number A. Hides behind the hill. Yes, yeah, he was also thinking that uh, maybe the sun hide himself itself behind the hill because it is very chill outside at night. It's very cold outside at night. Becomes the sun, become the moon in the night. Yes, one side is sun and one side is moon. So poet is thinking that same thing. Hide behind the clouds at night. No, uh, sun, he was thinking that the sun was hiding behind the hills, not behind the clouds. Goes back to its home to sleep? Yes, because uh, this is also a correct option. That is option number C. D uh, goes back to its home to sleep because uh, whole day sound is giving us warmth. So it also needs time to sleep to take rest. So this will be your answer. Hides in the forest. Okay, the speaker thinks that the sun hides in the forest. No, it hides in, uh, itself behind the clouds at night goes around the earth yes the sun floats uh, floats and it goes around the earth because uh, the earth is round and it is moving from one town to another like this okay so this will be your answer option number a you will take b you will take c take e take and g take rest d and f you will leave you will not take that thing only the correct sentence you have to take okay now come to question number two. What does the speaker think the moon is? So the speaker thinking the moon, what it is? The speaker thinks that the moon is on the other side of the sun. Where is the moon? The moon is on the other side of the 
sun so the speaker thinks that the moon is on the other side of the sun because when sun is visible moon is not there and when moon is visible sun is not there so that is the reason what does the speaker think the moon is the speaker thinks the moon is on the other side of the sun the speaker thinks that the moon is on the other side of the sun okay number three according to the speaker what is the sun's hiding place do you know according to the speaker the sun's hiding place is behind the hills the speaker is thinking that sun is hiding itself behind the hills because it is very cold outside at night so that is the reason why it is hiding himself itself behind the hill so according to the speaker what is the sun's hiding place according to the speaker the sun's hiding place is behind the hill okay now come to question number four why does the speaker wonder if the sun needs to rest do you know why does it what does it wonder why the speaker is wondering this thing he is uh, thinking about this thing why because this uh, the speaker wonders if the sun needs to rest because the sun because the sun always shine for the whole day whole day sun is giving us warmth light everything and at last the speaker is thinking maybe the sun needs rest that is the reason why he is uh, it is not present in the sky he is taking rest he, it is sleeping so why does the speaker wonder the reason why he was wondering this because the sun was not visible in the sky at night so that is the reason okay why does the speaker wonder if the sun needs to rest the speaker wonder if the sun needs to rest because the sun always shine for the whole day this will be your answer students okay so in this way you will write all the answers very nicely you have to learn it also and you have to write it also in your notebook so may this video help you a lot students take care of yourself have a nice day bye bye